Amen. Say hallelujah, hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, yes, sir. How have we forgot of the love that Yah had for us? That he sent his very best, the word into that darkness to bring us into his marvelous light and gave us a way that we must walk. But because of what we always say, she mocked Israel. It's not a word that just to be said, Israel. We hear the word that came during Pentecost. We hear the words that came Sabbath. Or oh, what well, we just hear, Israel. Israel, if we hear, there will be a change, Israel. Because Yah's word will change the man and the life of his people. If we hear, Israel. We got to hear you, Israel, and we got to take that serious, Israel. It is because that we can't get the victory over this kind of man. It's because we don't hear the true and the emit of Abba Yahweh. See, this word just hadn't transformed this shit, Israel. See, we speak of our Abba Yahweh. And his precious son, Yahshua HaMashiach. But Israel has to be real within us, Israel. That as I came, Jeromeel told us on Pentecost of the fruit. How he would talk about the fruit. And then he identified the, the characteristics of the fruit, Israel. Did you hear you, Israel? Yeah. Much truth has been spoken from this pulpit, Israel. The truth that we're going to be accountable for, Israel. Israel, it don't make no difference what your opinion is of how it's been spoken, or who's speaking. Yah's going to judge you for the truth that's being spoken from this pulpit, Israel. His Dabah, his word to Israel. There's no one else fault. Or could we put the blame on anyone else? But Yah gave us the ear to hear and a heart to receive of his truth that Israel may walk into that perfect man and that he may live by his Torah, Israel. He didn't tell us that we could live by some of the Torah. He didn't tell us to live by two scriptures of the Torah. But he said all of it, Israel. That we got to walk by. Yeah. That we got to live. Israel. Do we realize the time is getting short, Israel? Do we realize that we got to draw closer unto him? As Akshimri spoke that wonderful word to us, Sabbath. Of the wine press. We're not ready for the wine press, Israel. Because if we get pressed now, the wine would not be a sweet savior unto Yahweh's lips, Israel. Yeah. Yahweh help us tonight. Yeah. We need some more cutting and uprooting our Yahweh. Plows tonight, our Yahweh. Tear up that fellow ground, our Yahweh. Oh, the times of your word. Let it go deep within our lab tonight, Abba Yahweh. Oh, precious Abba Yahweh. 
to Helium 1 verse 119 and 30. Because we need to choose the way of Yahweh, Israel. We have walked in our ways too long. And we seen, or we see even now, what our ways produce. And it's not the way of Yahweh. For it's the way of corruption. It's the way of wickedness. It's the way of iniquity. I have chosen the way. You hear Israel, Abba Yahweh said, he has chosen the way of the truth of his Torah. And it said, your judgment have I laid before my feet. Do we lay Abba Yahweh's judgment before our feet? Now he said, whom he chastened and corrected, he loveth the other son. And we believe that Israel and know it for our strength that we may endure this race until the end that our Yahweh can say, well done my faithful servant. Then why the fighting come, Israel? Why the rejection come, Israel? Why the change of the countenance, Israel? Yeah, yeah. And we believe it's for our tub, Israel. And we know y'all is love, Israel. Yeah. And proclaiming that we, say we the people of Yah. Yeah. And if the word, if it was asked, do you love Yah, we would say yeah. Then if that be true, then Israel, why do you fight his correction so much? Yeah. Why do you reject it when he's showing you of your shortcoming, of you missing it, Israel? And why we have a space of time to get it right, he's trying to tell you to turn, Israel, and come back unto him, Israel. His Torah, what he commanded us to abide by and walk in, Israel. Here tonight, Israel. Because see, Israel, we as Israel got to be one and be in that one mind and be on one accord. There can't be no separatism, Israel. Now, we're supposed to be a set apart people, a light that's set up on a hill and can't be hid. Now, if they see us as a group, is it that a way? Do they see that light, Israel? Do they see that we are people of Siddiqui, Israel? Or they see some of us in them, Israel? Now, it's supposed to be a change in Israel, and we're proclaiming that we are the people of Yahweh. This word is supposed to be to transform our mind, that our ways, our thoughts shouldn't be like theirs, Israel. Our speech shouldn't be like theirs, Israel. There got to be a change, Israel. Now, the scripture said, what fellowship with light with darkness? Is that true? Where is it, when we go, do the darkness be with darkness? Or they, do they see the light, Israel? It just can't be words spoken, Israel. It got to be, Israel. It got to be. Psalms 119 and 173. One verse. It said, let your hand help me. For I have chosen your precepts. I have chosen your statutes to abide by. I have chosen your Torah in my inward part. That that may bear witness with your truth. Your word is Israel. That it may bring life every time we hear it, Israel. Of the correction of this flesh of our, of this old carnal man that we still in, Israel. For I have let your, let your hands help me, for I have chosen your precept, and we truly need the help of Abba Yahweh. Yes. Go to, to, to Helium, Psalm 119 and 71. Because there have to be a transformation, Israel. For Yah didn't get his very best for us to still have the mind of this world and for us to still walk 
and that old carnal man that's not going to be Israel. He said, it is tough for me that I have been afflicted. We don't think it's too tough when we have a little afflictions. Now, y'all said in his scripture, many are the afflictions of the Siddiqah. And he delivered my mouth. But see, our deliverance don't come, Israel, if it's called a fear. Are we trusting this fleshly man, Israel? That is where we go to comfort. And y'all said in the word that many are the affliction of the righteous. Why we won't go to Yah? Why we won't cry out to Yah? His word is truth and he cannot lie. See, he wants us to give our all and all to him, Israel. He don't want not one bit of you to even have an opinion on nothing that he tells us to do, Israel. For Yah do not need our help. Yah can handle it all by itself. And we just give it to him. If we humble ourselves and deny this flesh of ours, he will make everything all right, Israel. He will bring shalom when we think there's no shalom. He will heal you when you think there's no healing. He will move a mountain. If you just trust him, Israel, he will make us as one as we just trust and to die by his word that he give us. He'll put us into that perfect man of Yahshua Hamashiach. But Israel, we got to be willing to give up and let Yah tear down this old fleshly man. We got to, Israel. We ain't going to make it in, and yeah, we don't. That I could learn your statutes. Verse 7, 2 says, The Torah of your mouth is tough. So true, Abba Yahweh. Tough to me than thousands of gold and silver, Israel. What is profit for you to try to gain the riches of this world and lose your very soul of how Yah bought you out of that darkness, Israel. Oh, Israel, his Daba. Nothing can be comparison to it, Israel. Verse 73 said, Your hands have made me, fashioned me, give me understanding that I may learn your commandments. And that is what we need to learn, Israel. His commandments. Our commandments, our thoughts, is the thoughts of this life, Israel. And it says, verse 74, they that fear you will be glad when they see me because I have hope in your Daba. Yeah. For it is the only thing that can keep us, Israel. Yeah. It is the only thing that can strengthen us to go through this battle. But this is not a flesh and blood fight that we try to fight it in, Israel. But this is a battle of the Ruach. Yeah. And this leg got to be changed for y'all who are come in. It's just not going to come in in any old thing, Israel. I know, Yahweh, that your judgment, verse 74, they that fear you will be glad when they see me because I have hope in your word. Verse 75, I know, O Yahweh, that your judgment are right. Do we believe that, Israel? 
and that you in faithfulness have afflicted me. Do we see that, Israel? Oh, precious Shabbat Yahweh. Verse 76 say, let I pray you that your heart see for my shortcomings and my rebellion, Shabbat Yahweh, of me not abiding by your Torah, Israel. Your heart seed and kindness be before my comfort. According to your word, to your servant, verse 77 say, let your tender mercies come unto me. Do you realize, Israel, I just have precious his mercies is toward you, Israel? Do you realize how much his mercies mean that we have a chance to get it right before him? When there's someone out there, soul is lost, leaving this instant of not knowing him. And we have a chance, Israel. Toda ya, toda ya. Abba Rock you, Abba Yahweh. Turn to Tehillim, Psalm 119.85. Call your eyes to Israel. He's only accepting that perfect fruit unto him, Israel. And he wants the fruit to be without spot or blemish. Why do you think he proved us so much, Israel? To judge us, Israel. Because of the word that we speak so much of we are his children, Israel. They got to be proved to him, Israel. It just ain't going to be we say it and we, you think we're going to make it in. We're going to have to be proven, Israel. By his, by his word. We're going to have to walk exactly the way he tell us to walk, Israel. For we've seen that, Israel. Psalm 119, verse 85 through 93. It said, the proud have dug pits for me which are not after your Torah. All your commandments are faithful. They prosecute me wrongfully, help you me. They had almost consumed me upon the old land, but I forsook not your precepts. Quicken me after your love kindness. So shall I keep the testimony of your mouth, Abba Yahweh. Is that testimony real within you, Israel? The testimony of his son, Yahshua HaMashiach? Forever, O Yahweh, your word is settled in the Hashemayim. And that is true. When Yah say it, when Yah speak it, when Yah do it, it's done. It's done, Israel. It's done. You don't have to worry about it, Israel, no more. When you give it to Yahweh, leave it there, Israel. We see Israel. We are impatient people, Israel. You know, on the day of Pentecost, when Yah told them to go to Jerusalem, Israel, one thing that Yah told them to do, that he tell his people to do, to be obedient and they were obedient Israel to wait but while they were waiting Israel they waited with patience Israel and then after they waited with patience Yahweh Barak them of his Kodesh that came in on them Israel and we just wait and be patient and stand still Israel and see Yah's salvation but Israel, we got to move. We got to try to work it out in our way, in our mind. We got to try to solve the problem. In Israel, it fails every time. Oh, help us, Abba Yahweh. Your faithfulness is to our generation. 
and you have established the old land and it abide. Verse 91, they continue this day according to your judgments and there will be many judgments upon Israel for call we are people that needed Israel. For all are your servants unless your Torah have been my delight. Is this Torah your delight, Israel? I should, I should then have perished in my affliction. Oh, but Yahweh, let your Torah bring life to my land, that I walk as you have commanded me to walk. I will never forget your precepts, your statutes, for with them you have quickened me. You have changed this fleshly man. That we repent. That the Siddiqua man may live, Israel. That we may speak as Israel. Not as that fleshly man. Let that man be transformed. Yeah, he got some more making to do with us. But Israel, he's going to do it. And we don't get stiff neck. And we hear you, Israel. And we receive and accept and take in the Daba, the word that comes from this poor pit, Israel, to strengthen the house. For knowing by this is our strength, his Daba. We're no battle for our adversary, how's that time? We're no battle. It said in Mishli, Proverbs 1 and 28. For y'all love his people, and we just understand that. We written, we wouldn't fight so much, and we really believe of the love that he has for his people. And his correction. He want us to keep us. He, want, he don't want us to be that one. That son of perdition, Israel. Proverbs 1 and 28. Then shall they call upon me, but I will not answer. I don't want that, Abba Yahweh. Correct me, Abba Yahweh. This night, Abba Yahweh, as right now. They shall seek me early. But they shall not find me. Oh, Abba Yahweh. Forgive me. Of why you can be, why you can be found. Let your heart see your tender mercy abide. For they that hated knowledge did not choose the fear of Abba Yahweh. And this fleshly man hate knowledge, Israel. It is enmity against Abba Yahweh. That is why it got to be uprooted and tore down. They were none of my counsel. Get a lab of meekness without fight, Israel. They despise all of my reproof. You see, Israel, it's showing us us. That's us, Israel. How can y'all help us or we don't admit our faults, Israel. Well, right. Don't let that kind of man say it's not you. Yes. For y'all know you better than you know yourself, Israel. Yes. For he made, he made us from the dust of the earth, Israel. When y'all speak a word to his people, it's us, Israel. Yes. Just say, help me, y'all. Yeah. 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 Therefore shall they eat of the fruit of their own ways. And be filled with their own devices, Israel. And that y'all should do. For the turn away of the simple shall slay them. And the prosperity of fools shall destroy them. And that is true, Israel. Verse 33 said, but whoso hearken to me shall dwell safe. Whoso shall hearken to his dabar, his word. 
shall dwell safely, Israel, who shall abide in his Torah, O Israel, and shall be quieted from fear of evil. Oh, Abba Yahweh, let your dabar be in me that I may ensure evil, Abba Yahweh. Yeah, first, second Thessalonians, 10, 2 and 10 and 11. And with all deceitfulness of unrighteousness in them that perish, because they receive not the love of the truth, that they might be delivered. Well, why is that, Israel, that they did not receive the love of the truth? Well, Israel, it is because of they still have the thoughts, and they still had had that man transformed from them by Yah Daba of this world, Israel. Their desire is still of the things of this life, Israel. And it said the things of this life choke out the cares of Abba Yahweh. And verse 11 say, and for this cause, Yahweh will send them a strong delusion that they may, be believe, that they may believe a lie, yeah. Israel. And we have seen that, Israel. Right. We have seen that. I have their went their own way. I have their thought, as they say, it's a way to man that seeming right in his carnal mind. But the way thereof is death. Israel, if you perceive and take of Yah Daba, yeah. it is life. Yeah. Turn to Mishli, Proverbs 3 and 1. It says something that we so often do, Israel. It says, My son, he calls us his son. Forget not my Torah. But let your leg keep my commandments. Well, why do we forget, Abba Yahweh? Because we are people that don't hear Israel. We have to hear Israel. And it has to become real within our leg of Israel. That we be able to stand and combat the wolves and the wild of Satan when he comes against our mind, Israel. It says in verse 2, For the length of days and long life and shalom shall be they added to you. But let not Hasid and Emit forsake you. Bind them about your neck. Write them upon the table of your leg. That you be ready. That you be that tough soldier that our king was talking about, Israel. Ready to go to war. As Ak Shimri said, let the enemy come on. You know that you have the strength to endure. Herald on the helmet of salvation. Your lawn girded about with emit. Your feet shod, standing on the strength on that sure foundation. Heaven on the breastplate of Sadiqa Israel. Because he's coming. So let us get ready, Israel. So shall you find favor and terrible understanding in the sight of Abba Yahweh, the sons of Ben Adam. Trust in Yahweh with all your life. It said, lean not to our own carnal mind. Lean not to your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him. That's where we come slack of acknowledging him and Israel. And he shall direct your path. And he truly will, Israel. And we just give it to him, Israel. It said, be not wise in your own eyes. Oh, Israel, we have been there. We have our own opinion. We have our own way of doing things. When the word comes to judge, it's not I. 
we try to tell Yahweh. For Yahweh, depart from your evil, and it shall be health to your neighbor, and marrow to your bone. First now, say, honor Yahweh with your substance. Everything that is within us, we got to give it to Yah. Because one thing for sure, Israel, and we don't give Yah our all in all. And let him take us and make us and mold us and transform this mind of ours, Israel. How are we going to endure this battle? How? And with the first fruits of all of your increase, Israel, oh, precious Israel, let us read about this certain one, or how he trusted in Abba Yahweh, or by the name of Zacchaeus Hezekiah, Yashiah, Isaiah 38 and 2. Then Hezekiah turned his face toward the wall. We need to turn Israel and bow down and cry out to Abba Yahweh. And pray to Yahweh. And say, remember, remember now, O Yahweh, I beseech you. How I have walked before you in Emit. And with a perfect leg, help us, Abba Yahweh. If you have done that, which is tub in your sight. And Hezekiah wept sore. Don't you know Abba Yahweh hear those that were for broken leg and a contract you are? But see, Israel, it had to be sincere, Israel. Not word just to be spoken, Israel. When Yah brings something to pass, he wanted to be with sincerity, Israel. Yah showed us his sincerity. When he said he was going to make us a people, Israel, Yah gave us his very best to let us know that when he said he's going to do something for Israel, there's no change in Israel. The way we got to be, no compromise and no change in Israel. The words got to be a sure word from our lips, Israel. We got to be that true people of Abba Yahweh, Israel. This land got to love the true that by his word, Israel. It got to love it with our all in all, Israel. It can't love it for a day, Israel. It got to be a constantly loving a Yah Daba. To go on and, and read, I have a walk before you in your truth and with a perfect lad. And have done that which is tub in your sight. And have the cow you wept sore. Then came the word of Yahweh. And it was come to you, to Israel, to Yahshua, saying, Go and say to Hezekiah, Thus says Yahweh, the sovereign, the Abba of David, your father, I have heard your prayer. Oh, he hears your prayers, Israel. I have seen your tears. Ain't many tears today, the Israel. Behold, I will add to your days. 15 years, Israel. Why? Because he was obedient, Israel. And because his heart was with Yah, Israel. And I will deliver you this city out of the hands of the king of Israel. I will defend this city. He will defend us too, Israel. He will fight our battles, Israel. Just give it to him. And this shall be a sign to you from Yahweh that Yahweh will do this thing that he has spoken, Israel. And he will do it, Israel. Because Yah cannot lie, Israel. By his humility, he cannot lie, Israel. All we have to do is just submit ourselves to Yah Dabah.
no matter what we're going through, no matter what situation we're coming up against, and we just submit to Yah's Dama. We can get the victory, Israel. We can be overcomers. We can go through. But that common man said we can't get the victory because we don't do what Yah tell us to do, Israel. Yah said, Isaiah 48 and 1. Oh, Israel, hear the word of Yah. That it may transform us and change us. Hear you this, O house of your coal. Yahshua, Isaiah 48 and 1. Hear you this, O house of your coal, which are called by the name of Israel. And I come forth out of the waters of Yehuda, which, which swear by the name of Yahweh, and make mention of Yahweh in the sovereign. Our Yahweh of Israel, but not in truth, not in Siddiqah. For they that call themselves of the Kodesh city and stay themselves upon Abba Yahweh of Israel. Yahweh of hosts is his name. I have declared the former thing from the beginning. And they went forth, and they went forth out of my mouth. And I shown them, and I did them subtly, and they came to pass. Because I know that you are ob obstinate, and your neck is an iron sinew, and your brow, your brow brass. I have even from the beginning declared it to you. Before it came to pass, I shown it you. Least you, least you should say, my idols have done them. And we constantly say that, Israel, I am the one. I don't need Yahweh. I can handle the situation myself. I can get the victory over the circumstances. I don't need no one to tell me nothing. And my graven image with my drink offering has commanded them. You have heard and seen all this, and will not you declare it? I have shown you new things from this time, even hidden things that have been spoken from this pulpit, from the Zarkane, the Ox, and the Red Ox. And you did not know them, but we got an understanding as the word came forth, Israel. And we still didn't hear Israel. But they created now, not from the beginning, even for the day when you heard them. Heard them not. At least you should say, I behold, and I knew them. And every word that comes from this pulpit, we're going to be judged by Israel. We're going to be judged by. As we stand before the mighty hands of Abba Yahweh. And there will be no excuse. So why the time is now, Israel? Verse 8. Yes, you heard not. Yes, you knew not. Yes, from the time that your ears were not open. For I knew that you would deal very treacherously and were called a transgressor from the womb. And it said, in sin our mother conceived us. In iniquity were we shaped. But because of Yah's high seed, the word came into that darkness and brought us unto him and made us his people, Israel. Oh, Israel. Verse 10, Behold, I have refined you with my dabah, the changing of your leg, putting my Torah in your inward palm, but not with silver. I have chosen you in the furnace of affliction because I want to prove that you are my people, Israel. 
I want you to show this wicked and adulterous generation that I have a people that can live as I have commanded them to live by my Dabah. That the Torah is their life. For my own sake, even my own sake will I do it. For how should my name be polluted, Israel? Oh, Abba Yahweh, I don't want to pollute your name. And I will not give my honor and splendor to another. And for there is nothing but one, Abba Yahweh. Hearken to me this night, Israel. Hear, O Yaakov and Israel. My call, I am he. I am the first, the only one. I am also the last. My hand also has laid the foundation of the old lamb. My right hand has spanned the Hashemite. When I call to them, they stand up together. When he called to us, Israel, let us praise his precious name, Israel. Let us not be ashamed to dance for Abba Yahweh. Oh, let us not be ashamed. Let us forever give him the highest praise. All you assemble yourselves and hear, which among them have declared these things. Yahweh has loved him. Hallelujah. And he will do his pleasure on Babylon. And his arms shall be on the Chaldean. Even I have spoken. Yes, I have called him. I have brought him. Oh, yes, into your marvelous light. He shall make his way prosperous. And that it will, Israel. Come you near to me. Come near to him tonight. Hear you this. I have not spoken in secret from the beginning. From the time that it was, that am I. Oh, if it had not been for you on our side, I would have. And now the sovereign Yahweh. His Ruach has sent me. Thus says Yahweh, your Redeemer, the Kadosh One of Israel. I am Yahweh, and truly you are. Your Abba, which teaches you to profit, which leads you by the way that you should go, Israel. Stay in the way, Israel. For in the way is his way, Israel. He said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And that's the way that we should go. He also tell us, when we turn from his Torah and try to go up another way, Israel, we as a thief and as a robber, Israel, let us stand the right way. Let us walk. As a Sadiq is Israel. Debrum, Deuteronomy 30 and 19. For it in his way is the straight way. I have called the Hashemites and the earth to record this day against you. That I have set before you life and death, Barak and cursing. Therefore, choose life, Israel, that both you and your seed may live, Israel. Choose his Dabah. Trust in his Torah, Israel, that you may love Yahweh, your Almighty, that you may obey his voice, Israel. That we may hear. And that you may cleave to him, Israel. With everything that be within us, Israel. For he is your life. And the length of your day. That you may dwell in the land. Which Yahweh swore to your Abba. Yeah. To Abraham, to Yahshua, and to Yaakov. And to give to them, Israel. 
all the days of our life, Israel. Let us dwell in his Dabah and trust in his Torah. Hanak, some of y'all may not have Enoch 94 and 3. It says, Now to you, those Sadiqa one, I say, do not walk in the evil ways or in the way of death. Do not draw near to them, lest you be destroyed. Sure but seek for yourselves and choose Siddiqah, his Daba, and the elect life. Walk in the way of Shalom, so that you shall have life and be worthy of Abba Yahweh. When we look upon him, Israel, they can say, well done. Now let the word depart from me, you worker of iniquity, Israel. Sure, right. 15 and 17. Some of y'all may not have this. We could be that people, Israel. And we just here. Be obedient. Before a man our life and death, whichsoever he chooses will be given to him. For great is the wisdom of Abba Yahweh. He is mighty in power. And he sees everything, Israel. And his eyes are on those who fear him. And he knows every deed of man. We cannot hide Israel. So why we just don't give it to Abba Yahweh? Confess our faults, Israel. He has not commanded anyone to do wickedly because he has shown us the way to go, Israel. He has showed us the way to walk. And he has told us how to get the mind that we may stay in the way. Neither has he given anyone permission to see in Israel. Yah forbid, Israel. Y'all forbid. Yeah. Yeah. Because he wants a perfect people. Yeah. Yeah. He's coming back for a bride without spot and blemish, Israel. And for us to be without spot and blemish, Israel, we have to be real. We have to be real. Not only with one another, but we got to be real when we go amongst the wicked, Israel. Because see, Israel, just like our adversary, Hasatan, know whether we real or not. Don't you know the world know? So Israel, proclaiming us to be a people that Yah elected, to be a people of Israel, let our words be that of Yah's Dabar. Let our words be that of truth, Israel. Not let our words be of the thing that Yah has took from us, Israel, of the things of this life, of the foolishness that we've been involved in before Yah had his tender mercy upon us, Israel. Israel, and all our situations, and anything that we got to go through. Israel, let us take it to Yah. Let his Daba strengthen us, Israel. Not this carnal man. Not this carnal man. Not this fleshly man, Israel. But let us go to Yah's Daba. For in anything that we got to be involved in or anything that we got to come up against, Israel. Go to Yah's Daba. That's our battleground. That is what we fight with Israel. Not of the words or the things that we know of this common man. For Yah takes no thought for this fleshly man we in. It's going back to the dust of which it came, Israel. Israel, here tonight, of the word that I speak that life may arise within our inward parts, Israel. 
that we may bear witness from now and henceforth of y'all's truth that be spoken to us, to strengthen us, to go on, to let us know that we're not alone, Israel. We don't have to fight this battle by ourselves, Israel. All we have to do is just go to Yah's die by his word. So Israel, let us do what Yah told us to do. Let us come to him and acknowledge him in all of our ways. And then let him direct our footsteps, Israel. That we be in that right path, Israel. That we don't be a part of the broad way. It says few therein that find this way that we're walking in, Israel. But many therein seek the broad way of a cause of the pleasing of the fleshly man, Israel. And because of the design of the things of this life, Israel. But we seek Yah's Dabar, his correction and his reproof, that we may stay as his people, his elect, a people that he have handpicked and chosen, that when we look upon him, that we can rejoice, that we can praise him, that we can dance before him, Israel. Yes, not so much of how we made it over, but of how his tender mercies, how seed did or bad that we could make it over, Israel. Oh, y'all are so tough, Israel. Oh, Israel. Don't have no worries. Don't be cast down. Don't have no doubt because the word said a double-minded prayer is unstable in all his ways. Y'all words don't make you double minded, Israel. Y'all words don't give you no doubt, Israel. But Y'all word is plain. Y'all word is sure, Israel. So sure that if you trust in it, you won't fail, Israel. You will not fail, Israel. For we had too many examples, Israel. You that man of Yashak, Meshach, and Abednego, Israel. That's where well we go through, Israel. But the thing that impressed me to most, they said even if Yah didn't deliver them, Israel, they were going to trust them right on, Israel. We got to get to that point. We got to get to that point, Israel. Oh, yes. Oh, total Yah. Oh, just to speak y'all's word, Israel. It's a rock blessing to be in the house of y'all's house, Israel. I know I say so many times that whether we're going about with no thought of y'all doing their own thing, Israel. But y'all have set aside for us to come into his body to praise him, to speak to him, to let him correct us, to let him purge us, to let him reprove us. Oh, I will rock him tonight, Israel. I will rather be no other place, Israel. Let the world <coughs> serve the world. Yeah. Give me your Daba and your Torah that I may have a place in your kingdom that I don't have of how you bought me this far and to lose out just for a little pleasure seeing for a season. Oh, I'll be rocking tonight. Told you all for your words. For it's for my correction. And I told her you are by Yahweh. And I take it to hear as now, from this point on, that I Yahweh, I start watching and correcting 
that it makes sure this mind be more perfect into your precious son, Yahshua HaMashiach. The only way that I will be able to endure for transform this man of mine, Abba Yahweh, and this turn this slave into a slave of flesh, that I have a heart of meekness, Abba Yahweh, not fighting your truth, Abba Yahweh. Call your corrections for me, Abba Yahweh. You say, whom you reprove, corrected, and judge, you love that the son, Abba Yahweh. Let us realize that, Israel. Let us quit fighting his truth. But humble ourselves, Israel. Because we're going to have to become into that perfect man of Yahshua HaMashiach. That we truly can love one another and be as one and be as one accord, Israel. But if one could put a thousand, two could put ten thousand, Israel. Come on, Israel. All of us together, Israel. We can move a mountain, Israel. And we get in that one mind and get on one accord, Israel. Let us do that, Israel. Let the word work for us, Israel. We are our family, Israel. We are our family. We don't need no separatism, Israel. Yah made us a people. And he called us a Kodesh people. A set apart people, Israel. That when you set apart, you're different from someone else, Israel. You're put in a special place. And Yah called us to procure your people. Israel, let us be that peculiar people. Let his Dabah keep us. Let the Torah be within us, Israel, that we speak. If that be within us, Israel, and we speak to our Israel, you don't have to worry about nothing. You don't have to worry about drawing the enemy, Israel. If you will on what you speak, Israel, you're either going to Bind with the enemy, or either you're going to drive the enemy away. Stand firm, and the enemy will leave you. The enemy will leave you, Israel. Because we serve a mighty warrior. And what makes it so bad, what makes it so tough, he never lost a battle. He never lost a battle. And we serving him, we'll never lose a battle. I'll rock you tonight, Kedushim. Told y'all that I had a chance to speak to the house tonight of y'all. Dabah, for my correction and my judgment, that I be true with my coetis and my ox and have a true love for them, that I walk as a Sadiqah, that my fruits be real before them, Israel, and that I want Israel, truly want that Israel, because I want to be for real before the people of Yah. True, not being a hypocrite, Israel. Because if I'm a hypocrite, Israel, how can I give a, advice to my ark to strengthen him, Israel, in his battle? So let's say tonight, Yah, help me, change me, that I speak, that my fruits bear witness with your Dabah. Not with my mouth that I speak, but with his Dabah, the word that he give us to abide by. Confessing your faults one with another. Israel, I will rock you tonight. Y'all can stand on your feet. For y'all's good. And his seed endured forever. Hallelujah. All oh, precious Sabah Yahweh. As I pray, Barak, you tonight, Abba Yahweh, for your word that came forth, Abba Yahweh. Let it judge my lad this night, Abba Yahweh, correcting me, reproving me, Abba Yahweh. For I needed, Abba Yahweh, to become into that perfect man of your son, Yahshua HaMashiach. To walk as a Sadiqa man as you have told us to walk. That your Torah may live within my inward parts, Abba Yahweh. Proclaiming, Abba, to be claiming, Abba Yahweh, to walk at that light that's set upon the hill. Not only as I be upon this community, as I go amongst your wicked and adulterous generation, Abba Yahweh, that your words come forth without of my mouth, Abba Yahweh, that they see the change, Abba Yahweh, that they see a glow that they want about, a glow, a 
Abba Yahweh, a glory that you have gave us, Abba Yahweh, according to your high seed, your tender mercy, and your precious son, Yahshua HaMashiach, and the blood that he shed it for us, Abba Yahweh, that we proclaim not to back down on your truth, Abba Yahweh, but we stand bold as a lion, Abba Yahweh, that you truly have a people, Abba Yahweh, that's going to stand, Abba Yahweh. No matter what come our way, Abba Yahweh, we know, Abba Yahweh, that we give it and put it in your hands, Abba Yahweh, that we can be overcome with Abba Yahweh. And your precious son, Yeshua HaMashiach, I pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah.